Today I'm going to show you how to make a cute paperclip bookmark. Here's one of the bookmarks I made. You can see all I did was take a heart, another heart, so a large one, a medium one, and a small heart. I glued them together, put them on my paperclip, and now I have a bookmark. So that was one idea. Here all I did was take a circle. I actually used the, the lid for my glue to trace that circle. I made little petals in a little pattern. I put those onto my paper clip and there we go. We have another bookmark. And today I'm going to make a different one. This one's gonna be like a little bunny. All you need is for sure a paper clip. Now I have these little gold ones, but they come in lots of different colors and sizes. So grab what you need. You could even, if you don't have a paper clip, you could use a popsicle stick that would work as well. I have a marker to do a little bit of work on my bunny today. I have some glue. I recommend having a little bit of tape to put at the back, but you don't have to. Glue will also work and some scissors. So go ahead and grab whatever colors you would need or pe press pause on the video, grab what you need, and then we'll get started. Now, because I am going to make a little bunny, that's why I'm using white and pink today. You could use whatever colors you would like. Now, one thing I have forgotten is a pencil. So here we go. I do need a pencil that does help me when I am drawing. Now I want to make a heart and to do that, I've folded my paper. So here I've just created a fold line and that will make my heart symmetrical. And remember I am putting this onto my paper clip, so I don't want it too, too big. You could make it whatever size you want, just knowing that it has to go on that paper clip. So I'm gonna go start here at the, the, the fold line, sorry, start at the fold line. I'm gonna go up, around, and then pull down. So that's a half a heart, and then I'm gonna cut that out. Now, I'm gonna turn that around, just to show you, this is gonna be the face, and then I want some ears up here. So to make those ears, I'm gonna use that white piece of paper again. All I'm gonna do is clip off this extra that I didn't need, and I'm gonna fold again. And when I fold it, I want to make some ears. Now here, I'm gonna work on the side that's not stuck together, so when I'm folding it down, these are the sides that aren't on the fold line, and I am just going to start at the bottom, come up, go around and back down. And that's going to be my ear. Ooh, and then I'm just gonna cut that out. I'm just gonna put those on there to see if I like the ears before I glue them. Yep, so those are ready. I want to now use that same white piece of paper just to do the little teeth that I'm gonna put at the bottom. So I'm gonna open it up and I don't need a very big piece here for the teeth. I just want a little rectangle and then I'm gonna curve the edges. Oh, let me just erase that and show you again. So here I just drew a line up on this side, a line on this side, and I'm gonna curve the edges and join them. That's going to be for my little teeth that are gonna stick out at the bottom. Okie dokie, so I'm gonna put those there. Then I need this little pink piece and I'm gonna fold it. These are gonna be the inside of my ears. So all I'm gonna do is take my, oh, I don't want the fold line, I want the open side here. I'm gonna take my little ear put it down. So this is the white one we cut out already. I'm just gonna trace it to give me an idea of the size. And I want one to go on the inside, so I'm gonna use my pencil and just trace on the inside about where I would want my pink to go, just to give it a little bit of a pop. And then I'm just gonna cut the inside. And that just gives me an idea. Now, Remember, anytime you are doing these, if it doesn't work, it is okay. Lots of times my crafts don't work the way I want, and I can just start again. Or sometimes some of my biggest mistakes have turned into my greatest crafts. I'm gonna do some gluing now. I'm going to take those little pink ears, and I am going to glue them inside the white ear. So it just goes inside. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one like this, go 
those in. Ah! Where did it go? There, it just flipped over. There we go. Then when I'm gluing those ears, I just put a little bit of glue right on the flat part of the ear, right at the bottom here. And I'm gluing it behind my heart. Now remember the heart is upside down, so the little pointy thing is at the top. I just leave a little bit of space and I glue one ear on that side. And I glue one ear on this side. Now remember those little teeth? I am going to put a little bit of glue on the flat side. And I'm gonna glue it coming from the bottom of my little head here. I don't know if you can see that because it's still white. And then I'm just going to take my pencil and right where that fold line is, I'm gonna draw a line straight down. That shows you kind of where two little teeth are. Okay, now we need a little nose. So I'm gonna grab that pink piece of paper again. I'm gonna keep it folded. So here, remember fold, but this time I'm gonna work on the fold line. I'm gonna draw a little heart for the nose. So I'm just gonna go on that fold line, go up and around. This is gonna be my little nose. If you find it pretty tricky because it's such a small little Heart. You can always just use a circle. Be cute to use a little pom-pom for this as well. You could draw the nose on. Lots of different ways that you could create your little nose. So there, let's see if it's okay. I think it's perfect. I'm gonna glue that nose on. Go here we go, here we go. And then I am going to use my marker and I'm gonna put some eyes. So all I'm gonna do is, actually I'm gonna take my little piece of paper, put this underneath because sometimes my marker goes through the paper and I don't want it to go onto my workspace. So then I'm just gonna draw my eyes. I'm gonna put a little circle here, a little circle here. You could use googly eyes if you wanted. And then if you'd like, you can add some whiskers. You certainly don't need to, but I think I'll add a few whiskers coming right from my little nose. Now, once you're happy with your bunny, you are ready to add your paper clip. There are a couple ways to do this. One of the ways you can do it is to just tape it. So all you would do is grab your paper clip, grab your tape, put a little bit of tape, so just a tiny little piece, on the end of your paper clip. So you would grab it, put it on the end of your paper clip, and then just put it right behind, just like this. You just tip it, tape it right on. Or if you don't have that, you can use glue. Make another heart the same size as your heart, put a bunch of glue on that, and that should stick it together. And there you go. Now you can be creative and make different bookmarks in whatever shapes and sizes you would like. Thanks for joining me on Craft Club for Kids. Remember, be creative and have fun.